Hello and welcome to the first installment of the Atari Guy for 2012. And boy, have we got a game for you today. Anyway, I thought I would go back to the very earliest roots of video gaming, and you can't get much further than this. No, it's not Pong. Actually, it goes back even further than that. This is Space War, and I will tell you all about its genesis right now. The video game Space War was made by this man, Steve Russell, in 1961, who was attending MIT. Unfortunately, Russell wouldn't be able to make a dime off his creation because the video game itself could only be found in rather expensive college computer labs like this one, and the computers themselves cost well, well over a hundred thousand dollars, really. So unfortunately, Russell couldn't market Space War. But don't worry. Eleven years later, Nolan Bushnell would breathe new life into Steve Russell's original concept. He then repackaged the idea into... Computer Space, which would become the world's first coin-operated video game. Basically, the game is played this way. It's, you know, two warring ships trying to outscore each other. And that little dot there in the center represents the sun. And, yeah, you have to try and shoot at each other all the while avoiding the sun's gravitational pull. It's really as simple as that. Pretty simple, straightforward, and basic for the first video game ever invented. But, oh, watch out. Oh, watch out. Oh, there you go. The sun just burnt you alive. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Got you good. Oh, just narrowly avoided being burnt to a sun to a crisp. Just narrowly avoided being burnt to cinders. Ooh. Wow. First blown apart by the bad guy and then burned by the sun. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Wow. I love a simple, straightforward game that just gives you the basics, breaks it down real simple for you, just so you can understand. Simple, perfect, logical. And that's all Space Wars needs to be. Let's play again, shall we? Okay, here's a level that's slightly different. Instead, now there is no more sunshine. Instead, there's just, well, uh, <laughs> just bullets sort of randomly firing from spaceships at each other. Um, maybe not as straightforward as the whole thing with the sun and all that, but, uh, I... I'm sure something is supposed to happen in this level. I think. But... I... Moving on. Alright. And we're back with the sun again here, in this level. Only now, we seem to be moving either a lot faster, a lot slower, or the sun and the laser blasts do nothing at all. I don't know. Strangest thing I've ever seen. Remember all that simple, straightforward jazz I mentioned just a few minutes ago? Never mind. That doesn't apply to this level. Wow. Uh, I... Let's try to find another level that makes some sense here. I hope this isn't exactly what Steve Russell had in mind when he created this game back in 1961. Hmm. Wow. Bullet just goes right through. Jeez. Is this Space Wars or Dodgeball? I. Well, moving right along. Well, there it was. Space War, the world's first video game. And this version was for the Atari 2600. The original version, of course, 
was only found at MIT's computer labs created by Steve Russell back in 1961. Well, it would be another 11 years before Nolan Bushnell, of course, would give the concept a little retweaking with Computer Space, the world's first arcade game, as I mentioned earlier. How did that game do? Actually, given its complex and confusing controls, it didn't do very well at all originally. But, over time, the game developed and gradually got better once, you know, Nolan Bushnell started using joystick controllers rather than buttons or weird titty controllers. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we salute you, Steve Russell, to a fine game like Space War. This has been the Atari Guy saying, I will see you all next time.